Ah, such a great piece from the golden age of Disney. If you haven't seen The Little Mermaid, then probably not much of a Disney fan. Anyway, let's get right into some technique about this piece. Um, let's just go right into the beginning. As you see the very first line, it's all in first position, but then it starts to introduce an extension a little bit later. So let's jump down to the part where she starts to sing the, the phrases. And so I believe that would be the talk, talk, counting from the top, one, two, three, four, five. So that fifth line, you see a four on the E. Now, if you have your tapes, it's your fourth finger here. Your E is going to be here. Now, an easy way to find it, if you haven't marked already, right, great, mine fell off. Put your second finger where your fourth finger is on the A string. And that's really the core of this piece right here. You're going to be in this position because it's in C major. In other words, you're going to be playing here, never here, but here. This is the position. So it's an extension all the time to give you that, that, those notes. And so if we start in that measure, and if we keep going, And a little bit of shifting. I suggest you try doing that. I label it a one one. That means you slide your first finger back a little bit and you drop it down on the on the fourth. And then you see in that measure with that one four, see a two two. The two. This is natural in first position. Then you slide up again to that position. And then you stay there. And it's the same thing. And as you see, you stay there because the zero one, you're going to be this position. Something like that. Sorry. Um, so that is the way you would be really playing all this. And you go right into the um, one of the pretty verses. And that's really the core of it. You have to have this good spacing. And when you do this spacing, if you look, watch any of the other videos about extension, having that first finger back here, you know, falling back on that and really being solid. If you watch the video about the thumb and the second finger, that's super important as well. And so if we want to start from there, you're just going to stay in that position most of the time. Now, if that's difficult for you to really get in tune, you can drop back to first position right there and play zero, two, four, zero, two, two. And so I'll label that on the bottom of that. That's the alternative fingering. Um, and the last thing about this is you'll notice me playing some just maybe not on the beat so much, not strictly with the rhythm because I have her voice singing in my head, so I want to sound, I want to sound the way it sounds in my head. And that's the way you should play. You should sing with your cello. You should play instrumental music, but this is the vocal piece. So if you feel movement, feel it. Um, in the second page, there's some fourth position stuff. I'm not going to get into it. If you know fourth position, that's great and wonderful. I haven't really taught that yet. But um, there's really nothing of importance that you need to know about that. All the fingerings are there. So when you get into fourth position, come back and check out this video and you can really get into that. Um, that's about it. I absolutely love this piece. You know, recently I made a video about how to connect with songs that you, you know, that maybe get you sad or melancholic. Well, this song actually makes me really happy. I loved watching this movie. I watched it like at least 10 times in the theater, six of those because of my little sister super wanted to watch it. So I absolutely love this movie. It's a great movie. And if you are, were a 90s kid, then you probably love this movie as well. So anyway, you can expect more of these Disney tunes from me. I absolutely love them, love to play them. And um, I hope you stick around to watch some more of these videos, learn a little bit, always comment. 
and thanks for watching.